Lift up the leg assembly from the column where it's stored. Unfold the legs and place them on the ground. Place the pier column on top of the leg assembly and insert the three rods into the slots on each side of the pier column. Tighten the rods. They must be tightened approximately equally. You can get an idea of that by looking at how much thread is visible above the black handle. When you have tightened all three rods, try to feel the stability of the pier by grabbing the top of the column and try to twist it a bit from side to side. If needed, tighten the rods a bit more. Place the mount head on top of the pier. It will stand stable right away and you can lock the handle with a finger. Don't over tighten the lock handle, just tighten it enough so that you feel the mount head sits firmly on the pier. Install the counterweights. Insert the small axle into the slot on each of the counterweight arms. Let the counterweight slide all the way to the bottom. Now install the telescope. The front end of the telescope must be away from the side where you plug in the hand pad. Adjust the balance of the telescope by sliding it forward and backward in the dovetail and then lock the dovetail. Tilt the telescope to a vertical position to balance the counterweight. Slide the counterweights up and down on the arms until you feel the balance is right. Lock the counterweights and finally place the telescope in a horizontal position and lock the two handles for the altitude movement. Plug in the hand pad into the socket called HP and your battery power must be connected into the socket called 12 volt. The mount will power up as soon as you plug in your battery. Now the mount is ready for the first use.